And at this point in time, are you asking Greg McMichael to speculate as to what was going through the mind of Maude Arbery? If you look at the line on page 64, would that help refresh your recollection about what you're talking about here? Which line? Take a look at lines 22 through 24 on page 64. Yes. Okay. So when asking Greg McMichael to speculate about what's going through the mind of Ahmaud Arbery, what does Greg McMichael say on lines three through six? He, he was, he was trapped like a rat. I think he was wanting to flee and he realized that something, you know, he was not going to get away. Okay. And then I think you indicated, and well, well, I'll ask you, what did you then say to him based on this? He was trapped like a rat. I think he was wanting to flee and he realized he was not gonna get away. Yeah. What'd uh, you say? Yeah, but he could have run around your son, right? What's he say? Sure, sure. Okay, and then what'd you say? From what I can tell in the video, I mean, the whole road is there. So you had seen the video at this point in time that you're talking to Gregory Michael? I had seen it uh, on scene uh, briefly. Yeah. All right. So at that point in time, what does Greg McMichael say to you? <clears throat> Lines 12 through 16. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was much faster than Travis would ever be. He had opportunity to flee further, you know. We had chased him around the neighborhood a bit, but he wasn't winded at all. Continue. And then what's the next line, just on 16, I mean? I mean, this guy was, he was in good shape. Okay. Now, after speaking with Greg McMichael, um, was Greg McMichael then free to leave and did he in fact leave? Yes. I will pass the witness, thank you. <laughs> 